Do you remember Top Gun and the scene where Maverick's performance was being reviewed on the screen? Aircraft One performs a split S? That's the last thing you should do. The MiG's right on your tail. What you just saw on the screen was ACMI, Air Combat Maneuvering Instrumentation. Air forces around the world have been using these electronic methods to record pilot performance and then review them to learn and improve for many years. And in DCS world, we actually have that. You'll be seeing on the screen a mission that's being flown with TACView, the program that's freely available for DCS on the bigger picture while I interview its creator. Let's jump into it. I have with me the creator of TACView, call sign Virtuos. I hopefully I said that correctly. How are you, sir? I'm, uh, I'm doing well, thank you very much. And thank you for spending some time and uh, chatting with me about TACView. Exciting because I use it all the time and many people in DCS community use it, but I wanted to ask you more about it, especially since there's been some updates and new upgrades to it. And maybe we have TACView 2.0 on the horizon, but uh, first I guess, what is TACView? What was its inspiration? Uh, Take you it's, it's, it's a, a program to help uh, understand and to make progress about uh, flight. Like uh, typically, when you do like a combat flight, often you die without even knowing where it was coming from. And uh, with Take you, you can record the flight while you are flying, and afterward you can play back and see everything the enemies, you, uh, your friends, and see the, the missile which came from behind that hill and uh, kill you from the back. That happens to so, me too many times. How did you get the inspiration to create TACView? Because it's really like an add-on module for many different flight sims. What was your inspiration to create this? Yeah, so it, it started, uh, I think the first version was in July 2006. It started uh, when I, I was playing with friends to lock on Modern Air Combat, which was before DCS World. And uh, and we had this problem to not understand what was going on on the battlefield. And I remember that like, a previous uh, flight simulator called F-22 Air Dominance Fighter from digital image design, which was offering some kind of uh, VHS recording and you could see your, uh, the battle thing in 3D and see what happened. And so that how I got the idea, I, I told to myself, oh, that's strange. There's uh, no such a tool for the modern air combat at the time. So I told to myself, I'm going to check if there are some uh, capabilities in the simulator to export some data, so maybe I will be able to replay something on the screen. Did you know that there have been over 1 million downloads of TACView? And TACView is free to download and use. Let's get back to the interview. That was only for a lock on modern air combat and it continued from 2006. So, you know, that's, uh, that's a pretty long time. It will be almost, what, 20th anniversary coming up soon. So this is a long term project for you. Ah, yes, in this, yeah, that's uh, incredibly long for, uh, like in computer science, to have a software which lasts so long. And uh, yeah, but and since I'm, uh, I'm flying for fun, I, I always have uh, my own idea on how to improve it. And also I'm trying to gather all the feedback from everybody. So that's why it's still alive like that. And you did not lose your passion for flying all this time. Ah uh, no, no. It's, I guess that's something you keep forever. A passion for flying. Is there virtual or real? What's your favorite um, airplane to fly? DCS or Microsoft or? Uh, uh, it depends. Um, uh, in general, I prefer combat flight sim because it, it, there's like more things happening, so it feels more fun. So, so my favorite is. Uh, mostly DCS world, and I love to pl to fly the vegan because it's very special, and I, I love the f its philosophy and Cold War stuff. But other than that, I I flew uh, in flight simulator and explain like uh, just VFR flights uh, to visit uh, the US with uh, orthographic imagery. Uh, so that's uh, that's very that's kind of more relaxing and refreshing. 
<laughs> That's awesome. So since Lock on Modern Air Combat Virtuos, this application became uh, compatible with many more other flight sims. Flight Simulator and a few other ones. What, what, where is it currently compatible with? The main one is DCS World. And then after, uh, I started to write exporters for uh, X-Plane, Flight Simulator. Microsoft Flight Simulator includes Prepare 3D and the uh, FSX and the new Microsoft Flight Simulator. They all work. Uh, also, then I added support for Falcon 4. And recently, during the past year, like the BMS team contacted me and they have uh, added native support for TagView, which is great. Fantastic. And um, I think someone who was supporting uh, ETH, the helicopter flight simulator, added support for TagView. And there's also um, IL-2, Ilyu Ching, uh, the Great Battles, uh, supports TagView. And recently, somebody from the the team which works on the like the the older version of Ilyu Ching contacted us also to add support for TechView. So eventually, it should work with it too. That's fantastic. So, uh, Flight Simulator 2024 will have TechView support also. Yes, I believe so. I, I don't have access to any beta version right now, but uh, I bet. Uh, it will work exactly the same without with just minor changes if anything is required. Okay, so if we have anybody who watches this video from Microsoft or from the development team for Flight Simulator 2024, they need to get your beta version ASAP. Here is the tip for virtual pilots. If you have TacView already installed, after each mission, a TacView file will be created in a folder called TacView, which is usually found in your documents folder on the PC. Back to the interview. Now for DCS World, you had some significant upgrades uh, at the beginning of the year. I think you added the Sinai map and then you recently released version 1.9.4 for TacView, which has some more upgrades, right? Yeah, that's correct. There's a... Over time, we are always updating uh, TacView so it works with the latest aircraft and maps from uh, which are requested by people and uh, but also we try to add uh, a few more tools to improve everything and currently and we've got the afghanistan map which is now available for tac view as well as the kola peninsula map right yeah that's correct yeah, yeah. So I have they're... exported the maps uh, from DCS World and I, I did them to uh, TechView. Are you working with uh, with the Eagle Dynamics when you do this stuff, or is it kind of you do it on your own? Uh, uh, it's mostly on on our own. Uh, we we uh, try to approach them to have like a more official support, but it needs more paperwork and it's still in progress. Uh, so it's more on our world, uh, own, like uh, like any uh, body from the community uh, could do so we are every time there's a new map which is released but mm -hmm. usually i wait the last moment to have like the most up-to-date data and then i export it myself and i make sure it it fits well in tag view and if you find any issue we fix it and then like uh, buzzy b helps me with the the airports she adds uh, all the airports of the map the runways and stuff like that that's a lot of work and it's done manually right now. So it's really just yourself and one other person who work on TacView. You're not a big development team. You're not, you know, a huge group. It's really just a passion of, of love by the sounds of it. Yeah, exactly. That's passion. And uh, I started uh, just alone myself. And later, my uh, partner in life, uh, joined me and she called busy b and maybe you heard about her on on the forums and um, and she's working mostly on the support part of TechView, and also she develops uh, add-ons in c sharp or lua for either for professional or for uh, uh, the players to add little features or any any tool which could be uh, interested wow that's and that's that incredible you know, this is truly a passion project that has been going on almost for 20 years now. That's it's the beauty of flight sim community that somebody like you will do something like this for uh, for the community. 
Yeah, I think that's the same in uh, in this community. There's often people working on their own project, and uh, it lasts for a long time because uh, when you love uh, aeronautics, it's forever usually. So that's probably one of the reasons why it lasted so long. Another tip and reminder for TacView users. Visit TacView.net and download the latest version of TacView to ensure you have all the latest updates. Let's get back to the interview. What are some of the uh, some of the features that um, that you are thinking of adding to TacView 2.0 when that comes through? Any you know top top one or two features that people are asking for, or you're thinking of adding? Uh, I think the 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 most striking uh, improvement will be like the fact that you can have as many 3D view as you want. There are a lot of people are asking to have like a map here and a cockpit view here, and in TacView do too you can have as many as you want of uh, everything. Um, another one will be like TacView two will be able to uh, natively stream textures from your favorite map provider such as uh, Google or Bing Maps, for example. So uh, that would be especially useful for when you fly with uh, Flight Simulator Explain. But also with Combat Simulators, you will see the, the real-life high-definition terrain uh, on the ground. I, us I usually use the high contrast mode. That's my favorite, just so that I can focus on the flying. But, um, you know, you can load various textures, but of course, there are some limitations, but if you get the high definition textures from mapping services natively, that would be incredible. Yeah. And another one uh, would be like uh, the Steam Workshop, for example. Uh, because uh, for me, that's important that in Tag You Do, anybody could create a cool add on. And with a Steam Workshop, anybody will be able to install any add-on in, in just a few clicks. And and maybe ability to search for pilots, right? Maybe. Oh <laughs> yes, sure. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, That's my number these, one. I, I programmed them like uh, 20 years ago. So uh, obviously in Tech U2, I'm going to re rewrite the object selection so you can just type the name like in Go you will do in Google, for example. And also it will track uh, if you select a pilot instead of an aircraft, TaiView will track the pilot over its multiple respawn during a network session, for example. Oh, that's that would be awesome because some pilots, yeah, they'll go fly an F-16 mission. Maybe they'll get splashed, respawn, or maybe they switch to an A-10. And this way it will be persistent to that pilot, not the aircraft. That's awesome. Yeah, exactly. So you you will not have to manually uh, go back to the airfield and find the uh, find the new aircraft. It will just follow the your current aircraft all the time. And so lots of lots of new features and functionality coming in TacView 2.0. But as we found out during this call, you are the you are the developer for it. So you don't have a huge team. So patience is a virtue. And good things will come to those who. Uh, thank you. I, I appreciate. It. Yes, indeed, uh, it, it takes uh, it takes a long time. Like because I'm doing the work of uh, I don't know ten programmers, I have to rewrite like almost everything for good reason. It's, I cannot add more and more forever. Now it takes every time I want to fix or or add a little thing in Tag U1, it, it takes me. Uh, a day or a week, uh, and uh, every time I want to add something in TagView 2, it, it takes just an hour or less. It's an investment for the future, and uh, and then I'm sure everybody will uh, will like the new uh, TagView. If you want to host your own DCS world server without worry and have TagView already installed, so you can easily download the file and review your missions, visit fox3ms.com and order a dedicated and reliable server today. TacView comes pre-installed so the server captures all your mission and details. What's the big difference? Because TacView is free. Anybody can go and download it from TacView.net, right? Yeah, that's correct. Uh, yeah, anybody can download the free version. It's, there's nothing to pay, no ads, nothing. You just uh, download, install it, and it will it should start record uh, any of your flight from your favorite simulator and you can play back the flight uh, like we can see right now on the screen now the difference is 
if you uh, if you like it and you want more feature then you can upgrade to the standard edition or the advanced edition and uh, these two edition offers more tools like for example the the most tracking ones would be uh, if you have the advanced edition, you can uh, join or host online debriefing with uh, other people like your friends or your squadron and debrief all together and connect it via internet. And all your screen will be synchronized and the host or the instructor instructor will be able to show you like uh, click an object on the screen. I think it's shift click or something like that. Yep like that and to highlight stuff and so everybody in the amongst your friend will be able to see the same 3d view and that's that's great to debug after a flight and we always use it in the competitions which i'll show on the screen always on the side because tac view advanced allows me to connect to a real-time match so i can in real time watch what's happening on the battlefield that's a tac view advanced feature is that correct yeah, that's correct. Yeah, the real time, uh, we call it real time telemetry. And you can connect to uh, one of the simulator which supports it and you will see your flight in real uh, in real time. So that that can be uh, very handy if you are like on a friendly server which offers this data or that could be uh, to connect to uh, a flight of your friend and uh, like uh, oversees what's happening and uh, help helping uh, by providing some advice uh, for his training, for example. I think the charts, those are part of the TACVIEW Advanced as well, right? Yeah, that's correct. The charts are from uh, uh, parts of TACVIEW Advanced. In, b in both uh, paid version, you have like more telemetry. You can see more about your, your own aircraft, like landing gear, bre uh, speed brake, uh, and everything. You have more data available. Um, the view you can view from further away in the in the advanced version to uh, to know more about all the features uh, you will have to check on the website that's right you've got a detailed blog you have an faq as well because people can go there and check because we can't cover everything but well first i think everybody should go and download tac view and use it yeah just uh, and uh, again like the base version is is free for real so just just to uh, to improve yourself, it's very good idea to just review each flight. Usually, a combat f a combat flight that's uh, that's incredible. How you can learn, like. But one of our pilots from the squadron, Moskis, he plays on the Growling Sidewinder PVP server. I don't know if you know that server. Usually very yes. busy. He learned by watching TacView for many weeks to fly his F-16 at Mach 1.7. And on a daily flight, he will get 10, 20 splashes and zero deaths because he flies and fires perfect missiles, perfect AIM-120s that always hit because of TACView. He just watched and learned and learned and learned. Yeah, yeah, but that, that's the point. Tip. In TACView, hold control and click an object with left mouse button, hold control and then click another object with right mouse button. This will select them both. To support you, people can go get TacView and they can use it. They can get from TacView.net. Um, they can order TacView Advanced, and uh, this is a you don't charge a monthly subscription, right? It's right now it's a, just a single license fee, which is pretty awesome. How else can they support you? But the the best is the, to buy a, lic a license. That's the best. Uh, otherwise. You can adv advertise it at least the the free version. Uh, I I don't need everybody to buy it, but it's always nice to uh, to know that it goes uh, it it travels everywhere in the uh, aeronautic community, and uh, and that that's the way. Uh, by the way, that's how TagView has been known, like by the professional, like military uh, people, because everybody is playing flight simulation at home. So, uh. on the side note, don't I don't need to know any secrets, but I know DCS. I've seen DCS used by various uh, non-gaming services. So I wonder if they also use TacView, but I, you don't need to say anymore. <laughs> I'm sure. I, mean, I'm, uh, I, I can say a few things without like 
giving up secrets. Uh, yes, Tagview is used by professionals, uh, military guys, civilian guys. There are some who are doing like debriefing, uh, like training mission would would like uh, look like PVP, but for real pilots in real life with real planes. There are others doing some research. Um, so it's it's very uh, the aeronautic community is kind of small in the way that people hear about Tagview um, automatically, and then uh, and then I think uh, the professional what the professional likes about Tagview like about Tagview is that it's uh, it's very it's easy to use it's stable and uh, and it's it's kind of better than the very expensive product they had before. So usually they, they love to switch to TagView because they can customize it. And uh, that's a good solution for them. Fantastic. Okay, so s some stuff under the hood, but we don't need to know anymore. <laughs> this is not worth under form. <laughs> <laughs> that's fantastic. No, um, no but that, that's a good question, but uh, to avoid this this kind of issue, of I course. always re refuse to handle any secret data. That's Perfect. one of the the reasons why a professional loves TagView. If they have secret data, it just stays uh, in their office. They don't go to us. Perfect. Yeah. So you 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 are this way. You are clean. You say, I don't want to know about it. I don't want to see it. Leave it alone. Right. <laughs> yes. Yeah. That's <laughs> the idea. Yeah, we, we have the <laughs> same thing on, on in our Discord. If you find something, I don't want to know about it. Don't even post it. It's much safer for us this way. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. But uh, uh, aside that, uh, one good thing, uh, it's like uh, sometimes we make uh, tools for the professional and after they are available for everybody. And uh, at the same the impro little improvement community is asking for can be uh, beneficial to the professional too. That I'm trying to to keep the the product public and open as open as possible, so uh, everybody can uh, benefit from it. Fantastic! No, that's that's when when the professional technology can bleed off a little bit for us and the consumer and the entertainment world that's always a great thing especially with a study sim like dcs world where you really get into those details um so this is great i think uh i don't want to take up too much of your time uh, make sure everybody goes and gets tack view advanced to support you on your quest of 20 years thank you thanks virtuos and we'll catch you in the air there you go, folks. That was an interview with the creator of TacView. Make sure you visit TacView.net and get the latest version of TacView. And it is absolutely free. If you want to support Virtuos in his 20 year quest to create an amazing tool for DCS and other flight sims, you can do so by ordering TacView Standard or TacView Advanced. Visit Fox3MS to get yourself a server. And of course, like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll try to make more interviews if you liked this format, but it was my first time, so do please bear with me. Thank you very much for visiting Plasma 1945. We'll see you in the air.